Hi all. Let's do some Ruby. Uh, before we get started, I want to read a joke from an old book I found at the library on the free rack. World's Book of Best Jokes by Eddie Cantor. Uh, I think it's like 1943, something like that. Really old. So you can see, see the pages are really old. There's a section here for marriage jokes. Uh, this one here says, uh, Bachelor's talking with a disgruntled husband. Bachelor says, Are you satisfied with married life? And the disgruntled husband replies, Yeah, I'm satisfied. I've had all I want of it. <laughs> okay. So, I've got a few files here for Ruby. Uh, first, we'll install it. It's real easy to install. You can go to this website and download it. We'll go to this one here. So, here's the web page for Ruby. They have the different versions here. Uh, hopefully, if you're on Windows, you'll need this one here, the 64-bit version. The older computers were 32-bit, so if you have an older computer, you, your older computer might still be a 32-bit. Uh, the way you can tell if you right-click on my computer, right here it says it. 64 bit okay so most people if you bought a computer in the last five years or more it's going to be 64 bit so to install it just click on that and it says it's going to download this guy here it's 17 megs click save i save it to my desktop that's the name of the file there And because I'm on Firefox, I can watch the download here. While we're here, let's grab this guy too. See, this is the documentation. It's just the uh, it's like downloading a book. It's in a CHM format. Uh, if you aren't familiar with that, once you'll see it, you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, so we're going 224 and 224 here. So. Don't save the file to my desktop. That might come in handy. We're done with this. Here's the CHM file. Okay, here's the installer, Ruby installer. Click that. Select your language. Accept the license. Next, this is just where it's going to go. They're saying here they're going to create a folder on C colon. So they're going to go to C colon here. C colon. And create that folder for you. Uh, you normally don't have to mess with those. That's just when companies install these things. Sometimes they like to change the install folder. So for most of us, just leave that alone. Uh, put check marks in all three of these. The important one would be to 
set your path for you so we don't have to go in and mess around with that and click install okay you see here it created this folder here Okay, that's done. Okay, Let's see. we I, we shouldn't even have to mess with this folder at all. So. Here's the books. This CHM here. See, these are the CHM files. Just these things here. That might be the same as this. And then this is a, a PDF that you can print out. So I'll put a shortcut to that on the desktop. Uh, this bin folder, that's where Ruby is. See, right here is Ruby. Uh, normally though, we'll start it up from, from here. All apps. You see it created this folder. And here's all the Ruby files. We'll start out with the command prompt files. Okay, so this 7z format that's uh, stuffed, it's a zip file, and Windows doesn't have a built-in uh, unstuffer, so we'd have to go out and look for one. And uh, I don't want to fool around with that now, so we'll worry about that later on. Okay, so Ruby is installed. Now you can see my text files turned into these. These were normal text files, just like a notepad file. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put this on C colon. It'll be easier to get to. Let's see. I'm just going to create a folder here. R-U-B-Y. Put a shortcut here on the desktop. Okay, so this points to the folder on SQL. And then I'm just going to drag this in, into here. Okay, so to check this to make sure it's installed, if we go to All Apps, Ruby, and we're going to go start command prompt. And I'm going to go ahead and right click that and say uh, pin to taskbar. So then I have one down here. So I'll go ahead and start that up. And I'm going to change the colors here. Okay, I'm going to go to the Colors tab. The background will be like this black area here. I'm going to make that white. White like a piece of paper. And then the text, I'm going to make the text black. And then you got this guy here. Let's... Uh, 
let's make this font we'll, we'll go to font we'll make it the font a little bigger and we're gonna make it bold so that should be a little easier to see okay then we've got a folder on C colon right so uh, we're gonna CD to C colon now we're on C colon uh, if you don't know how the command prompt works I've got a few other videos that go over that I'll put links down below for you uh, it's pretty easy don't let it scare you away uh, if you're gonna get into programming you should be aware of how a command prompt works lots of the stuff is gooey these days but uh, it's just part of the business okay so now we'll CD into the Ruby folder and then I, I can do a DIR here here's the folder that we put in there and then we'll CD into that folder and do a DIR to see the files so there's the files okay just to show you what I'm talking about here if we go to this if we go to C colon Ruby folder here's that folder that I put in there here's those files okay that's what we're looking at here uh, here's 01 01 here's 02 02 03 03 04 04 and so on okay so most of these are pretty simple it's just some simple examples to help get you started see if I right click this and go open with I'm going to go open with uh, notepad here's notepad okay so all this does is print out the text hello world okay so I'm, I'm gonna go use Ruby to run the file 01.rb see that's this file here 01.rb and Ruby ran the file and printed out the text print hello world it printed out the text here okay so that's how you display text onto your screen by convention it's just a tradition whenever you learn a new language you start with the hello world program uh, it's also a good way to test your Ruby installation to make sure it's working so I think we'll go ahead and stop there for video one and then video two will pick up and we'll run through these other examples okay see ya Bye.